It's good to be here tonight. Um, I'll get this out of the way. I know I look like the kind of guy that gets his picture in the newspaper because the police came and took away the hard drive of his computer. <laughs> yeah. I like to think I fall into the I always thought so category. I should have kept an eye on. Uh, uh, I, I'm in an alright mood. Uh, I drove down here tonight, um, and uh, I was listening to the radio, and uh, while I was driving down, uh, that I heard they had this contest on the radio, where if you win the contest, you go and get to see this band in concert, and then afterwards, you get to meet the band. I thought that'd be pretty cool, you know, if you dig the band, right? But I figured you're never going to hear a contest like that where you get to meet the comedian after the show. <laughs> I'm sorry. But there's just no pizzazz to that at all. You know, all right, after the show, you get to meet the comedian. He's over there. <laughs> He's sitting at the bar. <laughs> He's going to ask to borrow $40. <laughs> he gets paid at the end of the week, and you get to hang out with him all night and hear how the industry's fucked him over for 10 years. <laughs> yeah, and then I know that guy, and I know that guy, and I know that guy. Well, if you know all those guys, why don't they give you a job? I don't know, I'm very easy to work with. <laughs> Holy shit, how long does this contest last? Man? This guy's a fucking drag, man. I, uh, if you uh, get the ch I went to uh, Montreal recently, and um, I love Montreal. Montreal is a fantastic city. There's so many great things about Montreal. Um, but you know what the worst thing about Montreal is? Just for laughs gags. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, just, I, I have yet to hear anybody ever say to me, Okay, man, okay, sit down, sit down. You're gonna, I saw the best just for last gags last night. Oh, man, let me just describe it. I, I was in Montreal for about three days. I think I was in about four episodes, right? <laughs> now I come back to Toronto. If I see a lumberjack harassing a nun, I'm just going to walk on by. <laughs> I'm not going to be on your shit show and you can sell the fucking airplanes, okay? <laughs> It's great because there's no language in it. We can sell it everywhere. We can put our shitty show all around the world. Yeah, that is great. Okay, I get it now. But yeah, there's, there's that wonderful gem that's on the comedy at work. And uh, if you ever have ever wondered to yourself, how long ago was 1996? You can watch Club 54 on the comedy at work. That's a, oh, that's a great show, man. And uh, I, I caught an episode of Club 54 a little while ago, and by accident, one of the cameras uh, caught the guy that holds the audience at gunpoint for the entire show. <laughs> and I don't want to see anyone lose their job, but you know, you gotta watch out for that show. I do love Montreal. One of the things I love about Montreal is I think Montreal is the only good excuse city that they have in Canada. The only excuse city, right? If you know what I'm talking about, it's like in the United States, they have Las Vegas, right? They almost pitch it to you like it's an excuse city. They're like, hey, come to Las Vegas, man. What happens to your stage here, man? Like, well, hey, kill a hooker. It won't count as Vegas. Don't worry about it. Right? <laughs> you know, they almost say it like that. Like, yeah. But we don't have that in Canada, right? There's never going to be a chance where you can say, but honey, I had to sleep with those two waitresses. I was in Winnipeg. <laughs> Oh, Winnipeg. All right. Well, when in Winnipeg, you got to do it. The, the, uh, and trust me, whatever happens in Halifax, we'll still make it back to Toronto. <laughs> trust me. Yeah. I uh, was driving down here uh, earlier tonight, and uh, I actually saw a house that still had its Christmas lights up. Can you believe that? You still have your Christmas lights on, man. It's mid-January, right? And, uh, you know, and it really bothers some people when people put their Christmas shit up too early, right? I think December 1st. That's fine. After December 1st, put your Christmas shit up, right? I think the one time every year where you've got to take down your decorations right afterwards is Halloween. Right? <laughs> Halloween, right? Right after Halloween, take it down. Take it down immediately, right? Because I'm sorry, but if it is mid-February and you've still got a guy hanging from a noose in your front yard... <laughs> Okay, first of all, you're fucking lazy. Second of all, it's Black History Month. So really, you can get your shit together. You can be a little bit more sensitive, all right? One month, okay? <laughs> uh, did you see this? This was one of the weirdest stories I heard. It was in uh, December, mid-December. Somebody actually stole the sign that was at the front of the concentration camp Auschwitz. Did you see that? Right? And the sign roughly translates to, like, freedom through work or work will set you free or something like that. But somebody stole that sign. Right? I, first of all, I was like, man, who would, who would steal that sign, right? 
But then I thought, man, what a unique Christmas gift for the Nazi skinhead who you thought had everything. <laughs> oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh, what a great day to be, oh man, Santa, have you guys been looking at my Christmas wish list? <laughs> this is almost as good as that necklace of teeth and that skin lamp shade you got me last year. <laughs> oh man. What's that cooking in the oven? Oh. Oh, that's good. There's nothing cooking in the oven. That's just that's a hoax. That's not a hoax.